That's me there. That's me doing my work in school. Well done, Chloe. It's really good. That's me in the playground. Look at me having fun. Look at the state of my hair. Oh man. This is my dad. He used to be in the army, but now he's a fitness coach. That's us enjoying the story together. I never thought I'd say that. You see, it's not always been like this because I am dyslexic. Could you put him away and get your homework done, please? But I can't. The words are all jumping all over the place. What do you mean they're jumping all over the place? Look, like, don't talk rubbish. Just get your homework done. I just can't do it. It's not happening up there playing your Xbox, is it? It's not an Xbox, it's a PlayStation. Well, Xbox, PlayStation, it doesn't really matter, okay? Any of that, nobody can rent your room. I hate school and I hate you. Don't be cheeky. In fact, just get to your room. Go to school, it's hard for me. Facing challenges every day. I felt scared alone. I really wanted to do my homework, but I just couldn't. And school's a nightmare. Well done, Jenny. Pass it on now. I was always scared I'd get picked. You see, being dyslexic doesn't mean that I'm stupid. I'm actually really clever. It just means that some things are difficult for me. Right, little ray of sunshine, aren't you? Said Ron. You like when I used to read a book. It was like the words were jumping all over the place. I couldn't get them to stop moving. They watched Pig Wedgeon disappear. I'd never heard of dyslexia darkness. before. I didn't know why I couldn't do it. Sometimes I would get so angry. What's wrong, Chloe? She's acting all weird again. As usual. Shut up! The lot of you is leave me alone! Chloe. Chloe, get back here now! It was the same with my last school. Because my dad was in the army, we moved around a lot of the time. I tried to hide it I couldn't read, but it usually got me into trouble. Chloe, what are you doing? It's only one sentence I've asked you to do. There's kids in primary too doing this kind of work. But I don't want a sentence with that stupid word in it. You're not getting another sentence. I hated that school. I hated all schools. I used to do anything I could to stay off. One Chloe, I'll be get. Time for school. Dad, I'm not feeling well. Look, come on, we get that all the time. I'm going to wait for work and you're going to wait for school. Time to get up. Oh. <sighs> Nobody cared about me. The kids hated me and the teachers just ignored me. Well, that's how it felt anyway. Have a word, please? Sure, what's up? What's Chloe Fulton? I'm a wee bit worried about her. What's wrong? She's a nice enough girl, but she doesn't seem to be fitting in. I can't put my finger on it. I'll pop along later, see what I can do. That'd be good, thanks.
But as Shaq was chilling behind Dan, just out of your shot of his parents, the vicar turned to him and his, we'll see about that young man. Well done, Julia, can you pass it along to Chloe now? I'm not doing it. No, Chloe, it's your turn. No, it's not. Chloe, come on now. I don't even know what page I'm on. Chapter seven, page 80, come on. <sighs> it was nearly <laughs> time they were all home. Jack. <laughs> Shut up, I hate you and I hate school. I was so embarrassed. Mr. Peters came looking for me. I thought I was in big trouble. I was sure he was going to start shouting at me. But I'm judged by you. I'm through with you, big. I'm a fool. You don't know what I've come through in my life. You're some runner. He could probably give Usain Bolt a run for his money. Maybe we should sign you up for the Olympics. Representing Scotland in the 100 metres, it's the world's fastest girl, Chloe Fulton. God. Is that your artwork? Can I have a look? I quite like painting myself. Well, obviously not painting myself, that'd be weird and messy. Imagine me coming to school every day covered in paint. This is really good stuff. Mm. You're really clever. But I'm not clever. Oh, hey, come on, that's not true. If we judged an elephant by how high he could fly, then he wouldn't seem that clever, would he? But if we judged him on his memory or the length of his trunk, well, he'd be top of the class every time, wouldn't he? Yeah, but I can't read. That's okay. Chloe, do you know what the word dyslexia means? No. That was it. That was the moment that changed everything for me. Mr. Peters talked to me about dyslexia. He explained that lots of people had dyslexia and how it can affect you in different ways. Albert Einstein was considered dyslexic and he was a really clever scientist. In fact, so was Walt Disney. He was dyslexic. Really? Mm -hmm. So you might not even have dyslexia anyway. I'll speak to your dad, you know, and we'll take things from there, okay? So smile, I promise you'll be fine. You've got nothing to worry about. Things will get better. He was right, things got so much better. I started using the colour audacity to help me read and my teacher showed me a brilliant computer programme. I was like a new person. I'd get up in the morning, looking forward to go to school. I made friends for the first time. I felt good. I felt really good. I still have the odd wee stumble, but now my friends help me instead of laughing at me. Turn all but his name and in there. Energetic. And it, thank you. An energetic little. I always have dyslexia. It doesn't go away, but I've learned how to deal with it. My dad doesn't think I'm lazy anymore. My teacher encourages me, and my classmates understand. It's cruel to laugh at people, to bully them, to call them names, to ignore them. I wouldn't do it to anyone. I hope you don't either. I'm going to be an artist when I grow up, a famous artist. Just like Walt Disney. I am Chloe. I am me. Since I've spoken out now, I feel so much better. So much better. I didn't know all I had to do was talk. I don't feel so scared or alone anymore. Cause now I'm happy being me. I'm sick. Just by you, I'm through with you. Think I'm a fool. You don't know what I've been through in my life. Now I'm done with being the odd one out. No one understands the feelings I have. I just wanna be be who I am. So.